Hello, this is Chris Hammond with ChrisStock.com. Welcome back to our DNN 9 video series. The, uh, this is going to be the 17th or 16th video in our series. I actually intended for this to be a video uh, in which we kind of go into some more details on the skin or the theme project we created in the last video. Uh, that being said, I ran into some problems actually trying to load the project and realized what they were. And I figured it'd be a good thing to uh, to do is to create a video to show you how to track down some problems. And, and uh, if you make a mistake during the project creation, kind of seeing what the results of that can be. So in that last video, I created a new skin uh, utilizing my Visual Studio templates. And when I created that, I typed in the path of my uh, of my local DNN website, and I left out an S in one of the, the folders. So it, it causes a couple of problems. So let's go ahead and switch over to my virtual machine and uh, kind of take a look at what those problems are. So the first thing I noticed is when I tried to navigate to my website by going to dnndev.me, I received a random error here within DNN. Now, trying to track down what that error is wasn't all that easy. Um, if you just try to change the URL back and, and load that up again, uh, it ends up just throwing this random error kind of over and over again. So a couple things I tried first is I tried to restart IIS. Uh, and the reason I did that is I had a problem yesterday before I recorded yesterday's video where IIS could not connect to my local SQL Server Express instance. Uh, so I wanted to just restart and that kind of solved that problem. So I assumed this, or this evening when I was going through this, I assumed that that was my problem. Uh, and ultimately restarting IIS did not solve the problem. A reboot of the machine also didn't solve the problem. So the next thing I was gonna do, uh, because I'm using SQL Server Express, I didn't have a, a quick and dirty way to connect to that database and look in the logs table or the event log table in DNN or the exceptions table in, in the database to try to track down what the actual error was. Uh, and because I didn't have that access, I figured, well, let's see if I can find any logs on the local file system. So that's when I opened up my local file system and within Windows with the recent files option, I right clicked on sample, uh, sample theme.sln. I chose to open the file location and then I said, okay, well, let me now navigate up to the portal's default folder and look for the logs folder, which should exist there. And when I navigated up to that portal's default folder, I saw that it was pretty much empty except for a single folder called skins. That was a little concerning because I thought, well, how the hell did I wipe all of the content here out of this folder? So then I went up to the portals folder and I had just a single underscore default folder. And I went to the dnndev.me folder and I had two, I had the bin and the portals folder. So at this point I'm thinking, where did all of my DNN files go? All of the, the DLLs and all of the code for DNN are now missing. That's when I realized what I had done. If I look at the full path here, when I created my project, I left an S out of the websites folder. That's where I have DNN running locally, out of a websites folder, website plural. What I had done is I created it in the website folder, which you can see it exists in dnndev.me, but there's nothing inside of it besides the files for my skin. So that tells me, okay, well, I had a problem and uh, that's gonna kinda cause me to, to move things around in order to fix this. So to do this, to just to fix the skin, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into that portals folder and I'm gonna go into that underscore default folder and I'm gonna go into the skins folder and I'm going to cut that sample theme folder. You can right click and choose cut, you can copy, it doesn't really matter. Now I'm gonna navigate to the appropriate location for this particular project. So I'm gonna go back to the root of my C drive going to go to the websites folder, go into the dnndev.me folder, go into portals. Now you can see I have a zero folder and a zero system. I've got some more content there that I would expect to see. And I'm going to navigate into portals underscore default skins, and I'm going to paste that sample theme folder, which contains all of the solution and the project that we created in the video yesterday. Now from here, if I go ahead and navigate into there, I can find that I have solution files and project files within this particular folder. Now if we navigate back to our 
browser and try to load the website, we still are unable to load the website. Let's talk about why that is. Now, what's happened here is there's actually been a change within IIS. When we created the project in Visual Studio yesterday, it ultimately screwed up IIS for this instance or this website running in the web server. So in order to fix this, I'm gonna go down to my start menu. I'm gonna type in I-N-E-T-M-G-R. Stands for Internet Information Services Manager. We'll go ahead and load that up. That will load up our IIS manager. And from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and expand on the left side down here to connections and to sites. And then I have my dnndev.me website. Now, if I go ahead and expand that, what I'll see is I see a list of folders that are part of this website. You'll notice one of those folders has a little arrow on it. That means that it is a virtual directory. And what's happened is when Visual Studio created that new project, it created a virtual directory for portals. And it ultimately pointed that virtual directory. And if we go ahead and manage the virtual directory by right clicking on the, the folder, and go to advanced settings, it pointed to that incorrect physical path. Went to C website dnndev.me slash portals. So how do we fix that? Well, that's a pretty easy fix. We're just gonna right click on that portals folder. We're gonna choose to remove. That's gonna remove the virtual directory and because that portals folder still exists in the proper location, it's now gonna show up. So if we go ahead now, let's see if we can go back to our website and I'm just gonna type in the address, type in dnndev.me and I go to load and I end up still getting the same error. Now it's likely we're getting a, some sort of a caching issue. So let's see if we can fix this. I'm gonna to go to the application pools within IIS and I'm going to right click on the dnndev.me application pool and I'm going to go ahead and try to recycle that. So recycling it essentially you know, starts everything over within the web server and uh, let's see if we can go back to the browser now try to load it again and if everything worked and it did not. So at this point now you get to see me troubleshoot real time or at least uh, near real time. So I'm gonna go back over here to IIS. I'm gonna go to portals. I'm gonna expand portals. And again, we can now see that if we expand portals and we expand the default folder, we have two additional folders that are also virtual directories. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on those. And well, let's see, I might need to start at the skins level. I'm gonna choose remove. And then the same thing with the default folder. Let's see if well, let's see what happens here. So now if I refresh portals, I can see default and I can see skins. And now I have an application level kind of configured here for my sample theme. I think we'll still be okay. But let's go ahead and switch back over here to the browser. Try to load up the website. And if all works, we should see our homepage for our local DNN website. And at this point we do. So this is something, uh, if I had noticed it yesterday, honestly, I probably would have just redone the video and, uh, and corrected it, but I think it's useful for you to be able to kind of see how I troubleshoot things. Um, it's easy for uh, Visual Studio to kind of screw up IIS, the way DNN works, and you're creating uh, essentially web forms projects or compiled projects that, that are not actually the website. They get embedded into an existing website. Uh, that can throw things off if you're not careful. Or, and sometimes uh, Visual Studio will just create a folder when it doesn't need to. Um, so that's a, something you might look into is go into IIS, expand the website, expand the folders. And if you have any virtual directories that you know you didn't create, it's likely something that Visual Studio created for you by mistake. So hopefully that's helpful for you. Uh, this has been Chris Hammond with ChrisDoc.com. Thanks for watching the video.